adversity. Listen, if, if you don't like adversity, you don't like, you know, hard times, you don't like uncertainty and pressure, <laughs> entrepreneurship isn't for you because every day is something completely, completely different. I mean, it, it, it just, it comes with the territory. I mean, from the minute, from the day you say, okay, I'm going after this, it's nothing but, and you've probably heard this before, that one of the key attributes to entrepreneurs are problem solving. I mean, it, it is just, and it, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Like one of the main things that I typically hear about is not having access to cash or not having resources or not knowing how to do certain things. And yeah, that is a, that is a big sticking point because if you can't fund the dream and the vision that you want to build, Okay, like, what are you supposed to do? And one of the things I always say is like, and one of the things you'll learn about me is, you know, you just have to keep pushing until uh, you find a way. Um, Some of the most beautiful things in life happen because there is pressure, because, you know, there's some type of tension that goes on. Like, you know, even after, like, you have an argument with somebody, sometimes you come out of that argument even stronger and, 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 and that connection, that relationship gets even stronger in maturity, obviously, um, because there was a little bit of tension and things were said. And, but in that tension, there is also clarity that came forth too. It's like, you know, diamonds, like diamonds are so precious. It's a woman's best friend, a ton of pressure needed to produce diamonds. Um, the thing I also love about adversity is it, I think it keeps you humble because now you get to look at the next man and you remember like, hey, what you used to go through when you get there and you, 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 you look at that next man and you have uh, compassion on them. And, and so you take phone calls and, and me, like my journey is still continuing. And that's why I take phone calls. I respond to emails uh, because I remember like I, I have not forgotten where I, I came from and Um, If I can help and and remove a stumbling block from from somebody or just give them some insight that I didn't have, like, why not? And so because we're all in this together. Um, But, yeah, adversity, it it, it keeps you humble. Um, It 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 helps you to continue to push forward. Uh, I I remember a story as I was um, thinking of um, humility. Uh, I was working as a chef uh, back in 2015, 2016. And uh, my boss, um, who I didn't know before I started working there, but we just, we just clicked. There was good chemistry, and uh, he was just always a fan of me. I made his job easier, so of course, uh, you know, he was a fan of me, right? Like, I, I did all the work. I, I always kicked him out the kitchen. Um, I'm like, hey, you hired me to do a job, so I'm going to do it. You focus on other things. And so, of course, I, I, so that probably helped me find favor in his eyes. But um, so he, he knew about the process, like when uh, I decided I was going to step out and start goats. And, and again, like remember what I said in one of the other videos about just taking a step even when you don't have it all figured out. Well, um, I, I had this large account that I landed and uh, I, we couldn't produce the product by hand. And so that's when I did the first test with a co-packer. Huge, huge learning experience. It was a $30,000 learning experience. One of the things I didn't realize was, okay, at the time where I had to pay the co-packer and from between the time that I would get paid from the uh, company that I sold product to, there was like a 45 day gap. And I didn't want to ruin the relationship with the co-packer. And so I'm like, my back is against the wall. I don't have $30,000 in cash like to be able to front this bill. <laughs> and, and I don't know what to do. And so one day I just randomly get an idea. I'm like, all right, let me just ask my boss. Yes, like you, you go to, like he's not a, he's not like family. He's, you know, he didn't bring me into this job. Like we have no previous history. We've only been working together, I think for a year and a half at this point or two years. And I'm like, hey, uh, so I have this little situation 
and I need $30,000. <laughs> and I'm like, here's the purchase order. Like, I just need to pay off the coat packer. And I, once I get paid from the company, I will give you the money right back. And that was like probably one of the most vulnerable moments like in, in the early days because it's like, I, I hate, number one, I hate asking for money unless it's like a bank, but like I don't act like asking other, I don't like owing money, none of that. And for me to sit in front of this man that I barely know and ask him for 30, not, not 100 bucks, 30,000. And he's like, all right, let, you know, let me talk to my wife. Uh, you know, you got to talk to the boss. And uh, he talks to his wife and he comes back and he's like, all right, you know, I'll give it to you. And I, and, and I pay off the co-packer and it was, yeah, like it was, uh, it was adversity that produced humility that produced an even greater friendship. And now like he even invested in the company like a couple years later. And so it's just, it's just crazy. So, you know, when adversity produces itself, don't shy away from it. It's every experience is to propel you towards something greater. It's to propel you towards something better. Um, and it, it's, it's part of your journey. Like I promise you, it's going to, it's going to help you as you move, as you move along.